This second example has a lot more instances of massive to create various different tones. Whereas example 1 involved two high bass tones and a sub which repeated after 8 bars, this example lasts for 16 bars before the phrase would be repeated and is based around two main 8 bar sections. The first section is based around two tones created with the while basses. Their purpose is to ask a question which the slew bass then answers. The second slew bass reply is raised by an octave for a build in intensity as the phrase develops. The slew bass makes use of the pitch bend envelopes within the midi clips for that diving sound. The entire sub-bass pattern relies on pitch bend envelopes too, which help to really create some room-shaking sub-acrobatics. The second section of the 16 bar phrase uses the wild basses again with a new riff. The second version of this pattern makes use of some on off automation for LFO depth for a more rhythmic texture. The China bass was created to add a new tone and pattern to the second half of the phrase, so it doesn't feel like a varied 8 bar pattern repeating twice. The sub has been written to be independent in melody for the first two of every four bars, then enforce rhythms and melody for the third and fourth bars when present. Finally, Heli Bass is named due to its helicopter landing type sound, created by an LFO speed change to the filter cutoff. It uses one of Mass's internal envelopes assigned to the speed of an LFO set to modulate the filter cutoff. This also has a boomy sounding low end, which I decided to leave in for a different sub texture towards the end of the phrase being careful not to have the dedicated sub part play at the same time, as this would cause sub bass conflicts and volume overloads. I hope this video series has helped you understand how you can create an unlimited amount of tone and modulation effects for dubstep basses. If you found these videos useful, please feel free to post links up anywhere on the net to spread the word.